What it do, what it do, back again with another update of eye jewelry. Today I wanted to uh, go into further detail on um, a post that I put up uh, a few days ago in reference to losing my brother. Um, um, just wanted to touch base on, base on that because I've seen um, so many posts on Richard Sherman and um, I just wanted to talk about the truth of the matter like a lot of black men don't have uh, necessary support to really elaborate on how we feel you know we are human you know we are human we are human we have feelings we have emotions we have great days we have short days we have all that and some so i think that we really need to bring it to full light full circle and um, understand that we all have issues and things that we go through money is not the cure to your problems money will give you a better outcome of life it will give you peace with your bills um, Money is only a tool to use to improve your living, your living uh, situation, you know what I'm saying? But only an insecure person will put all their value in money because they are nothing without it. Um, so again, I understand the concept of being high value and all that, but if you're not high value within yourself, you're just high value to be used at a higher level and a higher frequency. That's all that really means, you know, life, lifestyle is created by dollars and cents, you know, you can increase yourself, but if you are a broken version of self, you know, you're just on a higher level uh, of, of self to be manipulated and pimped and used and abused, uh, and just at a higher expense. So again, I have nothing against the high value concept, but I think it's very vain in a lot of ways that people uh, interpret it. And uh, the one thing I love about O'Shea Duke, he shows that he exploits all that in his videos. I think he's the most well-rounded uh, uh, video guy on YouTube personally because he does it uh, unbiased. He shows that even though you might have these resources that if you don't, if you don't have the confidence, if you're not taking care of your physical health, if you're not taking care of your mental health, all that does is give more opportunities to you to be manipulated and abused. So again, I wanted to talk uh, on Richard Sherman uh, having a bad day. You know, I have many bad. I've had many bad days. Uh, not feeling that you can vent or um, talk about things. You know, like I just lost my brother a day before Mother's Day, and. Um, and all that emotions and all that things that we go through as, as as black men. My brother died of natural causes at 44. He had a heart attack um, of natural causes. But a lot of those things that you know your body won't show is stress, strain, anxiety. You know all these things that will wear you out that will burn you out, that will shorten your time. So again, I'm speaking from my personal experience, my own personal situations that I'm dealing with at this present day. And I just wanted to uh, include Richard Sermon, a guy that went to a top-notch university, a guy out of California, a guy that beat so many odds to get to where he is, married to a black woman, still has uh, a lot of things that you know black men suffer from within the mind you know that we go through that we have to uh, account for and uh, i'm just so glad that he's married to a black woman and she was very supportive and very there for him in that video and i'm just uh, wanted to say that black men we have to learn how to uh, talk to each other without judgment you know without judgment without ridicule um, at my lowest point in life, when I was mentally ill, uh, just 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 beat up, you know, emotionally beat up, 
financially beat up, um, all the and above. You know, I had some great friends that would encourage me in truth. You know, they would not sugarcoat anything. They would not uh, allow me to be the victim in those situations, but take necessary responsibility for my part in those situations also. And uh, it really um, was a turning point in my life where I had to be accountable to myself. But the blessing was that I had people that I can confide in, talk to, uh, put my heart out, you know, in other words, and let them know my pain. And they did not judge me in it, but they gave me guidance and correction and motivation uh, in my broken space, you know what I'm saying? So again, you guys, man, we have to learn how to be whole men, whole men, not just hard, uh, uh, outer exterior of, of, of not being able to express. That's the reason why a lot of our kids are disconnected, you know, because we don't even know how to be uh, affectionate fathers, you know. It's okay to tell your son that you love him. It's okay to tell your daughter that you love her. It's okay to give them hugs. It's okay to salute them when they're doing something productive. That motivates them, you know what I'm saying? That gives them the necessary energy to be greater in what it is that they're trying to accomplish in life. So again, you guys, I just wanted to say that we must work on being uh, men, full men, not just hard on the outside, but 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 also well-rounded in the energy of masculinity, that we can express ourselves, that we can talk to each other, that we can vent to each other when we're having bad days, because I believe that a lot of us are dying because of stress. Stress and anxiety, I think, is one of the number one uh, killers of black men now today. You know, not being able to open up, not being able to uh, have someone that you can confide in, and not being able to, you know, uh, say what I'm going through at that present situation. Like, again, money's cool, but money's only cool to give you a better living situation you know only a broken man needs money to validate his or herself but we all need money to live right but when you need money to validate yourself to look down on other people you know so you're really showing your own brokenness you know so i know a lot of guys that got a lot of money a lot of money i know the guys that got well off you know what i'm saying and they never gloat or boast on what they have you know what i'm saying you wouldn't even know they had it because they never brag on it. So again, uh, money only validates a lifestyle change. It will give you peace with the bills, but again, you know, when guys are holding on to that, it's, 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 it has a lot to do with their low self-esteem also. So again, you guys, um, you know, we look at celebrities that are multi-millionaires and they still have mental breakdowns. Uh, you look at uh, top earners and, and still have issues within their families and stuff like that. So again, you know, money is a, a tool to improve lifestyle quality, but if you are a broken person, you are a broken person. So again, guys, I just wanted to get on this morning and talk to the hearts of men that it's okay to have bad days. I've had several. I know what it is to have low self-esteem. I know what it is to be mentally broken. I know what it is to go through all those things and way that I was able to overcome those things was having a really good solid few people in my life that I trusted that encouraged me that corrected me that guided me that did not tell me the things that I wanted to hear but the things that I needed to hear and it helped me uh, work on myself and eventually uh, conquer those broken pieces I'm still working every day this is a life journey, you know, uh, but you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So again, you guys, I didn't want to just talk briefly about glasses today. I wanted to talk something, talk to you about something that was more uh, impactful. Uh, I'm a real person, man. You know what I'm saying? I never have to get on YouTube and talk about what someone else is doing. I'm 43 years old. You know, I know what it is to be a father at a young age. I know what it is to be finan financially decimated due to being a, a, a responsible dad. I know what it is to go through some things. And so again, you guys, I appreciate all of you that take the time out your day to view my uh, 
videos. Without you, there's no me. Um, and if you like the content, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. You know, I'm a real person. Uh, I'm trans uh, parent, and I, uh, I just appreciate being able to maybe touch a person in life that has been through some things and needs some help because somebody helped me and that's how I was able to overcome those low days in my life and still be here today. So again, you guys, self-love is the best love. Love yourself, believe in yourself, and push better for yourself. Until next time, family. Bless them.